Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've clicked on this video, then you want to know all about the Cartier Love Ring. And recently I have been itching to add something to my Cartier collection. So I thought before I do that, I would film this video where I talk about the Cartier Love Ring now that I've had mine for two years. So if you have clicked on this video, we're going to talk about the sizes, the different prices, the different golds it comes in, and of course the wear and tear. The Love Ring is part of the Cartier Love Collection and it actually comes in two different sizes. I feel like people get this confused all the time. So you have the Cartier Love Ring, which is the thicker version, and then you have the Cartier Love Band, also known as the Wedding Band, which is the thinner version. But both rings come in three different golds. So you have yellow gold, rose gold, and white gold. And I feel like if you are just starting out your collection, then this is a great piece. Or if you just want to add a little something, then the Love Ring or the Love Band is a great choice for that. So let's talk price. I know a lot of people get this confused because of all the different variations and I'm just reading off my notebook. So the Love Ring, again the thicker version, in the yellow gold or the rose gold it's $2,480 and in the white gold it's $2,650 so it's always a little bit more expensive in the white gold and it also comes in platinum, I didn't know this, so $5,450 for the Cartier Love Ring in platinum. Then you have the Love Band, also known as the wedding band so the thinner version rose gold yellow gold is $1,600 in the white gold it goes up $110 so $1,710 and also comes in platinum which is $3,600 now with the rings they also come with diamonds and um, because there's so many different variations I will link it down below if you are wanting to get one with diamonds I suggest going onto the website and having a look because they vary from having one diamond to I think three or four diamonds to the whole band being covered in diamonds and then those prices vary from like five thousand to like like fifty thousand plus so if you're looking at getting one with diamonds I suggest going on the website and having a good look at the one that you want to get Okay, so let's talk wear and tear because I know if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to buy the Cartier Love Ring and or the Love Band and you want to know whether it's worth it. You want to know what the wear and tear is like. So I've had my Cartier Love Ring, which I purchased in white gold two years ago. I wear this ring, I would say four, five, six times a week. I wear it to work, in the shower, to the gym. I layer it with other jewelry, other rings. And the condition, the wear and tear of the ring is great. Um, there's only little surface scratches, you know, hairline scratches around the ring, which is inevitable. I talk about this in my Cartier Love bracelet video. It's just the design of the jewelry, it's going to scratch. And in fact, um, I want to be the person to tell you that it scratches easy as well. It's not a secret. Anyone that has a love ring or a love brand or a, a love band, sorry, or a love bracelet will tell you that the jewelry scratches quite easy. However, it doesn't lose its shine. Even my bracelet, which I've had for, I think almost a year now, um, has those surface scratches, but look how shiny it is. So it's just part of the jewelry. There's no like big chunks or anything out of it, just those small little surface scratches. So in terms of whether you think it's worth it or not, I would definitely say that this is um, one of my best purchases because I wear it all the time. It goes with so many things. The only thing that I wish is that I bought it in yellow gold because at the time that I bought it, I was very into silver and white gold jewelry and now I'm into yellow gold a little bit more. But, you know, it's probably just an excuse for me to go and buy another one. So, yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. If you guys have any other questions or maybe something that I didn't answer that you want to know, please leave me a comment down below because I've done a few Cartier videos and um, you guys always give me really good feedback on that. So that's why I wanted to film this for you guys. And um, if I do end up going to Cartier to buy something else, then please let me know if you want me to vlog this and take you along for the trip and I'll do that. Okay. Bye.